hi and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you how to deploy a vu js application on c panel something retro about vue.js vue.js is a modern javascript framework used for building fast and dynamic front-end applications it is known for its simplicity and flexibility and it stands out among other related frameworks like React.js and AngularJS. It is known to offer an approachable structure and powerful features like two-way data binding and seamless component integration. In this video, we are going to focus on deploying a static Vue.js application. In case you have a Vue.js application that requires a connection to the database and all that. I am going to do a demo on that soon. So in case you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so, so that you can be notified once we upload the video, all right? So uh, I have a Vue.js application here that I'll be using for demonstration. It's a very simple application. So let me just start uh, the local server and I'll do that by running the command. This command should be run under the same directory where you have your Vue.js application. So open your terminal or command prompt in the same location as your Vue.js application. Alternatively on VS Code, you can simply open the terminal using this option here. All right. All right. So let me just have npm run serve. And within a few seconds, we see that uh, uh, we get some addresses here. We are going to work with this Rocco uh, address. So as we can see, it's available on port 8080. All right. So let me open a new tab here. Paste that. Right. So this is the Vue.js application I'm going to use for this demonstration. In here, we can add some few items in the list. As we can see, it's a list of fruits. So I can add some melons in here. Press add and all that. So this data is not persistent. If I reload, the new data that I have added will be lost. So basically this is static data that has been defined in our code, all right? So this is the list of fruits that we have. And uh, it's a simple application, but good for this demonstration. All right, so the next thing, once you confirm that your Vue.js application is working as expected, you need to have a domain name ready or a subdomain and access to a cPanel where this domain has been configured. For the demonstration of this video, I'll be using uh, one of my subdomains here. So I have blog.dtechnologies. So then I also need access to a cPanel. So I'll access my cPanel here. All right. So once you confirm access to these two, that is the cPanel and a subdomain or a domain name, the next thing is to make a build of your application. All right. We are not going to upload these files as they are. We need to create a build for this application, all right? And uh, this is how to do it. So back to our terminal, I'll minimize this terminal here so that we can also note something. I'll stop this server. And actually, as you can see here, we are already given a command to uh, build our application, all right? So uh, just observe here so that we can note in case there is any other directory or file will be created. So to create a build, this is how we do it. So we have npm run build. All right, if you were keen enough, you must have noted that a dist folder has been created, all right? So uh, the files that we are going to upload to the server are under the dist folder. So uh, this is the instruction that we are given here. We see that uh, the build was a success and the dist directory is ready to be deployed. So let me navigate to the folder with our build code. So this is the root folder and um, the folder with the build of our project is the dist. So this is the code that we are supposed to upload 
to our server. So I can just compress these files to ease the process of uploading them to the server. So I'll do compress, then I'll give the archive a name. Let me just talk of vu. That's enough. Should be a .zip file, especially when uploading it to a C panel, then create. And within no time, an archive file has been created with what we have here. All right, so this is what we are going to upload to the C panel. So back to the C panel, then the next thing is navigating to uh, the domain section. So from the domain section, then we are able to access the root directory of our domain name. Remember, we are going to upload it to this particular subdomain. So this is what we have here. Then I just click on this section so that it opens the root directory for that domain. All right. Alternatively, you can just navigate to file manager, then locate the root directory of your domain or subdomain and upload the files in there. So once we are in here, I just need to click on upload. Then select file. Then I need to navigate to the location of the files that we need to upload. So right. So there's the file vu.zip just created some minutes ago. Open. All right. In less than a minute, our file has been uploaded. So just click on go back to the root directory. All right. So there's the file that we have. And I can just do a quick check if we are able to access our website. Not yet. We need to unzip this file. So just right click on this file. There is this option of extract. Right. Then proceed. All right. So we see our files in here and we see they have been extracted in the root folder of our subdomain. There are times that these files are extracted inside another folder. So these files and folders require to be in the root directory. So ensure to just uh, select all of them, then move them back one step to ensure they are in the root directory. All right, so back to our subdomain reload. And we see we have the same thing that we have here. All right, so let me add, let me add some new item. We are able to add new to able to add and we see they appear down here but again if we reload that is lost so that's simply how to deploy a vo js application on c panel in our future video we are going to see how to deploy a vojs that interacts with some apis to be able to save such items in the database so in case you found this video helpful be sure to like this video drop a comment in the comment section and also subscribe to our youtube channel don't forget to share the love with your network bye for now